weapon in here and once again I'm wireless so maybe have a little bit better audio and I had a couple of people request that I do a ramp job ramp polish on an M4 well this is the easiest way to show it taking a barrel with the extension barrel extension on there and just polishing it out in the open because trying to get trying to be able to see that while you're doing the polish and having a camera it's really hard to get the, the proper amount of light in there I've got you know tons of light but getting the proper amount of light in there is nearly impossible while trying to have room for a camera so I'm gonna do the polish but I'm gonna do it on an M4 barrel with the barrel removed and that's the barrel this is not going to be easy because I have to have room to get in there as well and there's not a whole lot of room once I get the tripod and stuff in there uh, this is going to be used the same I'm going to be using the same method as I used for the other polishing now if you look kind of close let's see if I can get a little closer that right there is the, the current polish job and yeah, it's a little rough that right there has got some tooling marks in it and stuff. We'll see if we can take that out a little bit. Remember, we're not changing any angles. We're just trying to polish out any tool marks, any rough edges. I'm only going to do one side, that way you can do a comparison between one side and the other. And that way you'll get a good idea on whether or not this is a viable means of doing this. Now, in the, in the receiver, there's still enough room to do this in the receiver, it's just a little bit more difficult. It's a lot easier when it's outside of the receiver. But you also had a couple little dimples on the inside of the receiver you would also have to polish. So keep that in mind. Once again, make sure that you are not changing any of the angles. You are only polishing out imperfections. So I'm going to add a little bit more polish here. The compound is really working quite well. I've already, already seen a really nice mirror finish. Okay, and I'll grab a paper towel and just kind of clean that up a little bit. <laughs> I'm actually clean. Well, as you can see, we finished up the quick polish job, and I'm going to go ahead and get this a little bit closer so you can see the difference between the two. And I'll try to be this a little more steady here. But here, see there's no more tooling marks. It's nice and shiny. You take a look at right above it and see all the tooling marks on there. Now I'll take a look at that one and it's like a mirror finish. Or even the one right next to it, the actual ramp right next to it. You can see how rough that one is and how how much of a mirror finish the other one has. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to tighten this down a little bit. I'm going to hit the flitz now. And this should give it a little bit more polish. I always like to give it a little bit more more polish with the flitz. Flitz is really nice stuff. It, it really does a fantastic job. You can see the how dirty the Q-tip is already. Now you can't do this with flitz alone. You do have to polish it 
the action of polishing actually removes any imperfection. Um, you know, and it's, it's an abrasive, so it's going to remove all that stuff and all the machining marks and tooling marks. So you're going to end up with a nice surface there for those bullets to ride on. And uh, let's see if I can get in here a little bit. I'm not going to get all the all the polish out of there. Just <laughs> of course I get a little bit stuck back in there. But what I'll do is I'll just I'm just going to do this quickly so you can see that it's, it's possible. And we'll just buff this up a little bit. And just to make sure, we'll go ahead and I'll even, we're not going to buff it, we're just going to clean it. Okay, now we're done. Now let's take a look and see what our work did. Now as you can see, the one on the right is an absolute mirror finish. Okay. There's not any machine marks, not any tooling marks. It's just absolutely spotless. The one on the left is just average. Uh, it doesn't have any tooling marks on it. They, they did a decent job of removing the tooling, but it doesn't have a, a really nice polish to it. And that's basically what we're doing. Is we're trying to, to polish up that just a bit and make it a little bit easier for those cartridges to slide on in. And that's all there is to it. There's nothing really difficult about it. It is a whole lot easier when it's outside of the receiver. Uh, and you know, don't forget the uh, upper receiver, those two dimples you have to kind of polish up. Keep in mind that when you're polishing that to do a very light job because that right there is going to be uh, andonizing and aluminum. So you're better off not not doing a whole lot of work on the receiver itself. But here, as you can see, that right there can make a big difference. And I've never had a problem with reliability, but hey, that right there takes care of that. It should be running nice and smooth. If you have any comments or questions, leave it below. Thank you very much. Talk to you later. Come on.